Hey, what's up, Karsten? It's Steve, Harmless Rebel. First and foremost, congratulations on 250, uh, 250 subs. Um, hopefully this cheers you up, uh, this contest with all the stuff going on in your life. I'm sorry to hear about that. I've definitely been in that position before. Um, first and foremost, in the background there, we got a little prince going and kind of tribute to your, to your contest here. Um, this is actually the hits. I have most of Prince's catalog. I shouldn't say that. I, I have most of the first 10 to 12 years of Prince's catalog on, on MP3 right now. I have owned just about all of those albums, uh, whether on vinyl or CD at one time or another in the past. Uh, I am a big fan of Prince during the, uh, especially the 80s, but then going into the early 90s as well. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what's your take on Prince? Uh, what you like? Uh, again, I, I do like Prince. Uh, even even modern Prince, I have heard some songs and some stuff from him that I do like. Uh, the guy is a, a guitar genius. I don't know if you've ever heard, or, or those of you watching, uh, if, if you've seen Prince play at the uh, uh, My Guitar Gently Weeps, I believe it was at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's one of the best guitar solos I've ever heard. I mean, he's on stage with, with Tom Petty, with Eric Clapton, with, uh, I think, uh, Muddy Waters was on stage. I don't remember who all was on stage with him, but it's all these top-level guitarists, uh, these top, uh, you know, guys that are considered the best guitarists in the world. And he comes up there and just blows them away. If you haven't seen that video, go online and watch it right now. It's literally not just Prince at his best, but it, it's one of the best guitar solos I've ever heard. So, uh, so I've always been a, a big fan of Prince. Uh, another thing with his guitar, you know, and just his musicianship as a whole, I love that he's that good at guitar, but just doesn't inundate you on every song of every album with that. You know, he he hits it in the right spots. He 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 hits the groove um, when he unloads and does solos, like in, in the background right now. Uh, he blows them out, but but they're very understated, and he just plays what he needs to. Uh, on vinyl right now, I only have one Prince album. I've actually just bought it recently, um, and it's uh, Prince Around the World in a Day. Um, this is one of my favorite Prince albums. Oops. Got your little flap there. But uh, I would say that my his uh, Prince and the Revolution was my favorite time frame for Prince, but I can't really say that uh, because I really liked the New Power Generation. Um, that was also a great band. I mean, the the, the fact is that the guy has just surrounded himself. Uh, you know, he's a musical genius by himself, and he's just surrounded himself around the best musicians uh, in the world, and just the music he produces is beautiful. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, that's all that I still have. Like I said, most of, uh, even my CDs, I've, I've downloaded them to the, to the internet and sold off most of them. I have very few, I have a couple box sets up here. Um, I think I may have a copy of the hits, uh, that triple CD set that came out back in the 80s or 90s, somewhere over there on one of my shelves. But, uh, you know, I would like to get more, uh, prints on vinyl. Without a doubt, I'd like to get uh, maybe Sign of the Times, uh, Diamonds and Pearls, and uh, maybe 1999, even though that's probably not one of my favorite albums, I would still like to have it. And of course, Purple Rain. Uh, you know, Purple Rain from beginning to end is just genius. Um, so your next question was uh, your top three Prince albums. Um, that one was pretty easy for me. Um, it's actually one of my favorite Prince songs right here. Nothing Compares to You, which was made famous by Sinead O'Connor, but uh, again, just shows his kind of, uh, his genius. And I love his version of it. I mean, he's just got so much soul. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those things, I mean, you can write a song for somebody, but but she doesn't, and, and not to take away what she did, and she, her version's amazing, and it deserved the accolades and the awards it got. He's just got so much more soul. You know, I mean, you can feel it when he sings it. Um, my favorite song from Prince, uh, by far, is uh, Purple Rain, which is Prince and the Revolution. Obviously, the soundtrack to the movie. I love the movie as well. Um, number two for me would be Around the World in a Day, which, of course, I just showed. And, and number three for me was Sign of the Times. Um, 
I just thought that was an amazing album. He was kind of moving in that new direction. Uh, just a great album all around. Um, uh, let's see. Top three Prince. Three Danish artists. Uh, you mentioned it might be hard. Uh, that was actually a pretty easy one for me. Uh, I'm a big fan of Rockabilly and Psychobilly. And, and there's a huge Psychobilly scene in... Uh, in uh, a huge Danish psychobilly scene. Um, obviously, the two biggest of the bands from that area are going to be Horror Pops and the, the, the Necromantics, which uh, I'm a huge fan of both of those. Uh, another great band, and, and probably one of my favorite current bands uh, is Ball Beat, um, who I've got uh, actually just recently when Best Buy had the, their sale, I bought uh, Guitars Gangsters and uh, Cadillac Blood which is a great album. I wasn't real happy with it. I didn't know it was a picture disc when I bought it. So it is what it is, you know. And then also Rock the Rebel. Uh, Metal the Devil. It's funny. This is actually probably, you know, when I look at reviews and stuff, this was the, got the worst review of all their albums. And this is actually one of my favorite uh, Volbeat albums. But I'm a huge fan of Volbeat, as I know you are. I know I've watched a bunch of your videos in the past, and you have Volbeat playing in the background, and you've talked about Volbeat a couple of times. Um, and then for Danish bands, of course, you've still got King Diamond. I keep looking down, so i got my little cheat sheet, so I, I make sure I cover everything. You've got King Diamond and Merciful Fate. Um, I'm not a fan of King Diamond. Um... And it's not anything about the band itself. I think the band is amazing. Uh, his band, and then, of course, Merciful Fate, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's, it's another band that King Diamond's in. He's a singer. Um, I just don't like his voice. His voice, that high-pitched uh, scream, just drives me nuts. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. You know, it's great metal. The band itself, like I said, the bands are amazing. And even lyrically, I don't mind them. It's just that something about his vocal just, it just, it just does something in my ear that I can't stand. Uh, and your last question, what was uh, your three favorite Danish albums? Uh, I just kind of mentioned uh, Vol Beats, uh, Rock the Rebel, excuse me, Rock the Rebel, Metal the Devil. Um, this is one of my favorite Danish albums. Um, another favorite of mine is Horror Pops, uh, uh, Hell Yeah, which I think was their second album. Uh, that may have been their first, I, I don't remember. Uh, but that was my favorite of the Horror Pops albums. And for those not familiar with Horror Pops, it's a, uh, a Psycho Billy band. And then uh, most of you should be familiar with the Necromantics. They're probably one of the most popular Psycho Billy bands in the last 10 or 15 years. And uh, Return of the Living Dead uh, with Who Killed the Cheerleader. I, I love that album. Um, so those are my three favorite uh, Danish albums. Um, I hope I covered everything. I'm trying to keep this one relatively short. My videos seem to run on uh, as I like to talk and hear myself, apparently. Um, regardless, congratulations on uh, 250 uh, subscriptions. I, I really do like watching your your posts. I have watched uh, probably 15 or 20 of them over the last few months. Um, and look forward to hearing uh, seeing a lot more from you. Uh, I hope things turn around for you. And uh, uh, I'm sure they will. Uh, other than that, uh, take care and uh, congrats.